on the big one. We're going to bomb Tokyo. 30 seconds over Tokyo. Friday night at 7 on 50. Chicago's power station. possible steps to halt the catastrophic destruction. just made it. You can take my word for it, it was a rough trip. But you, you look a mess. I've been at this thing now for two days without sleep. I've practically been living on endodrine. The worst is ahead. You got my message? Yes, Chief. I tell you, Charles, it's absolutely incredible. 
I don't know what to make of it. I quite understand that. There'll be mass hysteria if it doesn't stop soon. I've had the computer section on double shift. It keeps coming up with zero. We'll have to find it fast, Charles. I'm convinced it's a space problem. Then you'll want to take a look at this. It's from Smith's team. They have a wild theory. And they're convinced that it's a space problem, too. I didn't want to advise you, dear, of it till you got here. Send out a top secret alert and arrange for a meeting. And I want Jackson on this. Yes, sir. Signal out of 5-7. Put all stations on alert. Signal 5-7 on alert coast. Captain Danton, I reach you. Set this up for Commander Jackson on Gamma 1, please. This is their show. estimate that thousands of families are homeless. In European coastal cities, business districts have been almost totally destroyed. Among other losses are 50,000 pieces of mail washed away when the post offices were inundated. Governments are having extreme difficulty maintaining order. We've just received an announcement from the UD. Commander Rod Jackson will be in charge of the survey unit to investigate the possibility Turn of that off. disturbance. To this end, he'll be taking the recently completed neutron deflector to his base command post Gamma 1. God help us. We have an immediate 5-7 with full priority. Of course, Lieutenant. Priority it is. 5-7? That's top secret. This really is trouble, isn't it? Here's your code key and kill those newscasts. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. Prepare for code transmission. Commander Jackson and crew ready for takeoff. Prepare for arrival at 14 hours. <laughs> Four three seven, program now position for immediate launch. Pulling cargo three thousand tons. Flying jet channel A at thirty five thousand feet. We'll recheck during flight. What are we supposed to be looking for? Has anyone told us that? No one knows, but we're not picking up this deflector for nothing. Can't figure it out. What do they think we'll find out there? Flying saucers or what? Green and activated. All phases checked. Ready launch. Deflect the cargo and Jackson crew here. Radio. ETA figures check out. All systems go. Pleasant trip, Commander. Ready? Pour it on. 11.30 a.m. Commander Rod Jackson, veteran spaceman, returns to Gamma 1 after picking up the deflector and orders for the most important mission of his career. Gamma 1. Read us, Gamma. Steer Gamma 1. We read your signal. Systems functioning? Check, check. Get set for lineup. Ready and waiting. Switch all controls to station automatic. Switching out. Stand by for weight gain. Standing by. Do you read your cargo, Commander? Cargo follows on. You're on our controls. Take it away. 
episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Passion fires up the Enterprise when Troy meets a mysterious diplomat. When I first saw you, I felt as if I'd been waiting for you. But he's hiding special powers that could destroy critical negotiations. You're reading their emotional states and then using that to manipulate them. On an all-new episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Saturday night at 6 on 50. Your job sometimes make you blue? Don't worry. Call the fun party line. 900-999-5372. Be happy. Call now. $2 for the first minute, 95 cents for each additional minute. They got many guys and ladies just waiting to talk to you. So at work or play, don't worry. Be happy. Call now. 900-999-5372. the same old thing try something new something different america's new one-on-one -on -one talk line 1-900-USA-ONE-ON-ONE great time great fun great people and it's one-on-one -on -one. get in on tonight's action two dollars the first minute then 99 cents a minute 1-900-USA-ONE-ON-ONE -on -one. call now I tried to be a good husband, but when I met her sister, I, well, she was so pretty. Confessions. I haven't been able to tell anybody. I can't even tell my boyfriend, but my biggest fantasy is to... Fault confessions. I've just got to get it off my chest. When I was 25... Fault confessions. I'm so sorry. I couldn't control my temper. I didn't mean to. Call now, 976-SIMS, 976-7467. You won't believe your ears. Three dollars per call. Here it is. Crystal's light and clear. Here it is. You'll think it disappeared. Here it is. Crystal's magic show. Here it is. Where'd that Crisco go? Let's see. When Crisco cooks up fries, almost all the oil comes back here, so it's not absorbed here. No greasy taste. It's true taste. So light and crispy too. Here it is. Here it is. Sometimes we all need a friend to talk to. And now there's a phone number for you to call when you need to talk to that certain someone. Anytime, 24 hours a day. Perhaps you're looking for advice or a woman's point of view. Or maybe you just need to hear a soft, smiling voice. This is one-to-one -one conversation, and it's live. <laughs> someone. Just pick up the phone and dial 9768. Start sharing your life with sincere and attractive singles in your area. There's no need to be lonely. Just dial 9768 and put a little romance in your life. 9768. Call now. Attention cargo personnel. Attention cargo personnel. Unload Red Horse Cargo on. On ramp two, without going beyond the limits of your station, 
Remain within station limits. set up that deflector. Mm -hmm. Yes, the sooner the better. Right. Latest Earth News bulletins to all space installations. Strange atmospheric conditions continue to cause major disturbances around the various positions of the Earth. Many major cities have been affected by various atmospheric phenomena. Due to the record tides which flooded these large masses of the Earth, many cities have been forced to evacuate their populations. Rod, what's the happening on Earth? Continue Aren't you supposed to be in there with your section? Scientists have been unable to account for the atmospheric conditions now affecting the various... Five, seven coming into Kill that newscast, if please. Persist, many of the Anybody find anything? Not yet, yet. This can mean only one thing. What can mean only one thing? The five, seven. It can mean anything or nothing. I have a feeling... We operate on facts, not feelings, Lieutenant. In the meantime, how about getting this 5-7 out to every relay outpost in the quadrant as soon as it comes in? We ready, Joe? I'm pre-setting now. We nearly go. Go when ready. Here, honey, this is top priority. Okay. The code key is coming through. Coming in now, Lieutenant Sanchez. Okay, Joe. Ah, there's nothing in this we don't know from the newscasts. They might as well have sent it in the clear. Ugh, that cold crazy down there. Are you prepared to transmit? It's all go, except outpost echo. I get only intermittent signals. Get a check on outpost echo circuits and keep trying. Right. Lieutenant, aren't you prepared to transmit? Yes, Commander. I've decided to send this one in the clear, if you don't mind. In the clear? Transmit in the clear. But this was a coded signal. You heard me. Prepare to transmit, Joe. In the clear? Yes, in the clear. Oral to visual. Oral to visual. In the clear. Visual to oral. Visual to oral. In the clear. You know, the commander is not supposed to show his edginess. Lieutenant, when I want personality advice, I'll go to psychometric. Yes, Rod. Commander, if you don't mind. Yes, Rod, uh, Commander. Lieutenant Sanchez, may I remind you, you're not serving on some space lugger or a 1980 cruise jet. This is Gamma 1, and I'm in command. And I don't want questioning of that command, even by raised eyebrows. I read you, Commander. Then read this. Two days ago, I asked you to issue certain orders to your section. I issued them. Did you really? I ordered all newscasts from Earth blocked out on this station. Station morale is low. And you're not helping it with those newscasts? I know, sir. Then why did I get here we in front? We had to monitor the newscast to give a feed to Captain Dabrowski. He was very anxious to... Doby. Captain Dabrowski again. Lieutenant, those newscasts will stay blocked out totally until I give new orders. And I want to see Dabrowski in my quarters. He's on peripheral tour. When he gets in. Yes, sir. Terry. Yes, Commander. Bear with me, Terry. Sometimes a Commander tightens up to hide his edginess. I'm sympathetic, Commander. If any messages come in, I'm in my quarters. 1345 hours. UD Headquarters Conference Room. 
Smith makes his report to the key United Democracies Security Command. The film clips show the extent of new damage to coastal installations after the strange seismograph readings. So much for terrestrial manifestations. On this map of the asteroid belt, you see the area which showed signs of agitation. This agitation concurring with our disturbances here on Earth makes the seismograph readings even more mysterious. We've got to get at the explanation for these asteroidal manifestations. Now here is where I think my team has produced a really sound argument. And I would like my colleague, Mr. Danton, to explain it to you. It's all yours, Charles. Well, let me say first that we were confronted with what seemed like nothing but random disturbances, having no connection with terrestrial manifestations. However, by some intricate computer probing, we have determined a definite pattern. Now, assume I'm pointing to the field of the disturbance force, which has shown to be always along this tangent line. The time of the event correlated to the Earth's rotation indicates that the disturbances acted along the same relevant quadrant of Gamma 1, which is our remotest space station. Now, uh, Sergeant, sir. Yes, sir. Please continue. I'll be back in a moment. Danton, are you saying it's a wild planet within Gamma 1's gravity quadrant? Precisely, sir. What is it, Janet? Dad, I've been trying to reach you for days. I've been meaning to call you. You've kept Rod two months past the normal tour. Janet, I will not go through all that again. Rod is our number one space post commander right now. Try to understand that... We just got a report. There's an emergency. On Gamma One. <laughs> Give it to me slow. We were out checking on a report of a gyro disturbance when all on of the B level on B level. And there was a wind. A wind? Have you gone out of your mind? That's right, there was a wind, but don't take my word for it. You'll find out. I can tell you when it happened. It was like a real twister. The whole section buckled right out of shape. I wasn't prepared for it, so I ordered everyone back in as fast as they could. Lieutenant, where do you think you're going? Standard operating procedure, Commander. Communications officer is assigned to every mission that's not routine. Okay. And then? The guys were sucked right off. The tie line snapped like that. How many? Three of them. Couldn't reach them? It was too risky. Okay, let's move out.
14 hours. Lieutenant Terry Sanchez, Gamma 1 communications officer, stands watch as the rescue operation begins. Approximately 1,000 feet away, three men are caught beyond the gravitational pull of the space wheel and are being tossed about like leaves in the wind. we all need a friend to talk to. And now there's a phone number for you to call when you need to talk to that certain someone anytime, 24 hours a day. Perhaps you're looking for advice or a woman's point of view. Or maybe you just need to hear a soft, smiling voice. This is one-to-one -one conversation, and it's live. <laughs> Are you just too busy to meet exciting people? If the answer is yes, call 976-DATE. You're never too busy to pick up the phone and meet that special guy or gal of your dreams. Call 976-DATE now. Exciting men and women from the Chicago area are waiting to hear from you. It's the busy single's answer to exciting people, and it's as easy as a phone call. 976-DATE. Chicago's executive singles hotline is waiting for your call at 976-DATE. I'm Cy Sperling, president of Hair Club for Men, and these are just a few of the men who called our toll-free number for our booklet about thinning hair. This is the booklet that tells you what you need to know about every hair replacement method available. It discusses everything, from toupees and wigs to transplants and weaves, and it even has a section on the realities and misconceptions of minoxidil. Just call our toll-free number now and I'll send you our new updated edition, which includes a whole new series of before and after photos like these. These men are actual clients and not models. They're men like you who discovered that you don't need drugs or chemicals, surgery or miracles to have a full head of hair. To get all the facts free and without obligation, just call our toll-free number now and I'll send you the new booklet. And remember, I'm not only the hair club president, but I'm also a client. I want to tell you about a great way to meet new people. It's called the Love Line, and you use it by picking up your phone. When you call, you'll hear real people talking about themselves and what they're looking for in another person. Best of all, you'll get the real names and phone numbers from people who want to hear from you. So no more excuses, okay? Meet someone special. Call the Love Line. I think it'll be really good for you. Call the Love Line. Dial 1-900-909-4600. $2 the first minute, 45 cents each additional. Adults only, please. Oh, yeah.